Aloha and welcome. Thank you for joining me today on my live stream right here in Waikiki Community Center. My name is Master Paul and I am deeply honored to be connecting with you here today. I have been coming to the Waikiki Community Center. This is my third week and I'm still working on getting the visibility here at the center. Uh, the uh, folks that come here have a specific pattern that they follow. So it's about letting them know about Tao, Tao healing, Tao teachings, and how it can serve them. The actual program that I teach here at the Waikiki Community Center is called Tao, uh, Tao Healing and Wisdom for Reversing Pain and Aging. And so um, we're still getting their attention. So I thank you all for coming here today. I have been teaching all this week on the seven soul houses and today would have been the day slated to teach about the Y Jiao, which is the largest space in the back of the body. But I will be putting that off till tomorrow. That's when we're going to cover that subject. Today, because we are here at the Waikiki Community Center in uh, Honolulu, I will be teaching to this classroom. Now this class is on the subject of how to bring healing, nourishment, and rejuvenation to the brain. <clears throat> and for those that are just uh, arriving, those that are just coming in, my name is Master Paul, and I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. So first I'm going to start by giving you a little bit more information about who is Dr. and Master Sha and how it is I came to be a worldwide representative so that when I teach about the power and significance of some of the wisdom and teachings that he offers for in this case healing our brain you'll get a, a understanding of, of the, uh, the wisdom and the depth of the wisdom from this most amazing teacher. So Dr. and Master Shah is a doctor. He was trained in classical uh, techniques of being an American medical doctor in China. He received a full MD. Then he also trained in traditional Chinese medicine. He uh, eventually moved to Canada <clears throat> and became a world-class acupuncturist. Very early on, while living in China, Dr. and Master Sha trained uh, as a very young child, age five, age six, in the martial art of Tai Chi. And he became very, uh, very adept at it. He practiced three to four hours a day. And by the age of 10, he felt that he had mastered that enough to move on to an additional art form in which he took up Qigong. He then was also a Shaolin monk for a while and he mastered all of these modalities, eventually trained underneath one of the uh, most well-renowned uh, Feng Shui uh, masters in all of China. And so he is also a Feng Shui master. He is also skilled in the art of several other modalities that have led him to be very effective as an energy master. Dr. Master Guo gives a great deal of credit, including what I will be teaching you here today on <clears throat> the subject of brain and brain health to his spiritual mentor, who is Dr. Master Guo. Uh, one extra minute on Dr. Master Guo. He would literally treat several hundred people a day, sometimes thousands of people in the course of one day uh, through his clinic in uh, China. And in the course of one year, they potentially would see a half million people. So it was quite a large clinic and he served a great deal of individuals and in area. So a lot of this wisdom that you'll be hearing here today is from Master Guo, shared with Master Shaw, and then will be shared with you. Now, uh, the information also shared here today through Master Shaw can be found in many of his books. Dr. Master Shaw is, a, is a, what's called a divine channel and vehicle. And what that means is he serves the divine unconditionally. He has written over 20 books, 10 of which have reached New York Times bestsellers. And so one of the books that I'll be using today is called Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine. And you can find this information in that book. I want to take a moment to acknowledge everybody that's coming online. So I'd like to welcome uh, Rianne, <clears throat> welcome to Sandra, welcome to Petra, Eva, uh, welcome to Margaret, welcome Tina, welcome Stephanie. Great to see all of you. I thank you so much for attending today's event. Uh, please take a moment and hit the share button 
so that other people know that uh, Master Paul is sharing live today on brain health. There might be somebody that they care about that can utilize the benefits of what we're going to be talking about today. So to complete the subject on Dr. and Master Shah, in, in 2002, he was voted by the Fifth World Congress of Qigong as Qigong Master of the Year. Now, Qigong is so widely spread, there are literally well over 10,000 Qigong Masters. To be considered Qigong Master of the Year roughly 15 years ago is pretty profound. And since then, Dr. and Master Shah has developed very uh, profound modalities for self-healing. Now in 2003, Dr. Master Shah was given the status of being a divine channel. And what he brings to earth and what we'll be sharing with you today is the four power technique. The fourth power is the one that is unique to Dr. and Master Shah and the wisdom that has been brought to you, to Mother Earth, and to all souls to help transform all aspects of our life. That is what's called the power of soul. And Master Shah has a few one-sentence secrets. And one of the, one of the simplest and most profound is heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow. So for all of you in the room here today, that is going to be the core of every single class that I'm teaching here at the Waikiki Community Center. And so I encourage you to pick up one of Master Shaw's books on the table and ask more information. You'll learn about all different aspects of healing by healing the soul first. We're going to employ today what is called the four powers. Now there are some uh, that are on the Facebook live stream that are familiar with this, but for them, they will learn even deeper and they'll apply it and when they go to share it with others they'll have the foundation to share the four powers. For those of you that are new in the room today I will be sharing that for the first time with you. So again welcome to uh, anybody new that has come online. If I have not acknowledged you please forgive me. Sometimes I do not see everybody's name that pops up. So when Dr. and Master Shah brought the power of soul he gives a basic statement. He says, mind power has worked very well. People have heard of mind over matter. What you think is what you focus on is what has the possibility of coming into action, into fruition. And when that was first commented upon about 100 years ago, people would say, you're, you're crazy. You think about something and it comes to fruition. But now everybody accepts it as a truth. Soul over matter is the new layer, the new level of teaching, the new level of wisdom that Dr. and Master Shah brings to humanity. And the basic teaching is, speak to the soul first, heal the soul first, communicate to the soul of whatever condition you are working with, and it can assist you to transform every aspect of your life. So he also brought what's called the four powers. Now the first power most people here have heard of most people know that body and body positioning can assist their health and well-being. We know that when we sit up straight in a chair, it will assist us versus slouching. So everybody agreed to that? Everyone's, okay, so body power is utilized in bringing health and wellness to you. It has to do with hand position and body position. The second power that most of you may be familiar with is sound power. Based on the age group that's in the room, all of you have heard of Beethoven, probably truly appreciate him, appreciate all the classical musics. Probably never heard of Metallica, uh, uh, any of the <laughs> heavy metal bands. That kind of music is not healing music. Sound has power. It can heal, it can hurt. Sound power is the second power. The third power is the power of visualization mind power. What you focus on, what you visualize, has a chance to come into fruition. We just spoke about that. So three powers we will be utilizing today along with the fourth power that was brought to humanity through the wisdom and teachings of Dr. and Master Shah. Soul power. So what is soul and how do we apply it for healing our brain, which is the subject of today? The first thing to understand is a basic teaching that Master Shah is a divine channel, so he receives this information from the divine. And the divine told Master Shah that everything has the spirit of God in it. 
everything, every speck of energy, every speck of matter has divine in it. Therefore, everything has soul. It's a very simple teaching to understand, but some of us wonder, well, how is that possible that something that's inanimate might have a soul? When you break it down to the energy and the matter and realize that all things have the divine in it, then it's very easy to understand. And it is this base teaching that dramatically assists the healing, the transformation of any aspect of life that you apply it to. For centuries, people have applied body power, sound power, creative visualization to transform blockage areas in their life, and it has worked very well. Today, you will see how we put all four of these together. So now that we have gathered quite a few people in the line, I want to continue to acknowledge all the new people who have come in. Amy, welcome. Johnny, Diane, Pamela, Joanne, great to see you all. Uh, Liz, Lakshmi, great to see you. Thank you all for joining. We first want to connect heart to heart and soul to soul using what's called a divine soul song that Dr. and Master Shah has brought to earth at this time. You'll learn more about it later. I left a piece of paper on your table called the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. So please pick it up. You can read over it. I don't expect you to chant with me. Those that are watching on Facebook, I understand that you probably know the words pretty well. But for those of you that are new, please enjoy, read this, and if it feels comfortable, welcome to join. This is called a Source Soul Song, and it brings love and peace and harmony to all souls. So, first, as an aspect of Dr. and Master Shah's teaching, we connect to heaven. We place our hands in Soul Light Era hand position, which is the left hand over the message center, like this. We place the right palm pointed towards heaven. Another way to do that is you drop your hands in prayer position, and the left palm drops in front of your heart center, what we refer to as a message center. Okay? Close your eyes, and we connect to heaven. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, all layers of heaven, we love you, we honor you, we appreciate you, we respect you, we ask very humbly that you please join us here today at the Waikiki Community Center. Come to sit in the hearts of all of these beautiful souls in the room and online. We ask that you please bless us in this practice to understand and retain the value and the wisdom of all that is offered here today. Dear the Source Soul Song of love and peace and harmony, we love you. Could you please offer your blessings to all of us in the room here today, all those watching. And we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us. Thank you. So now let us chant together. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. So now that you're getting the hang of it, let's do it one more time. Lu la lu la li. Lu la lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Lu la li. Oh, I, oh, 
心而立，我爱春人类，我宁容和睦学雄。相爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. 好，好，好。Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, how is a Mandarin Chinese word, which means perfect, complete. And we say thank you three times. The first thank you is to our divine creator. The second thank you is to all the holy beings who have come to offer their service for our health and well-being. And the third thank you is to our own soul. So that's why we repeat ourselves three times. So again, I want to welcome you all for coming. Thank you all for joining me online.、Uh, we will return to our regularly scheduled program tomorrow、uh, for all those on Facebook. When we'll go back into the completion of the ten series, we just did the seven soul houses. Tomorrow we will do the Wai Jiao, and then the next day we'll do the Energy Channel and then the Matter Channel. And I might even add an eleventh day in which we're going to focus on just chanting for the movement through the energy and power through the entirety of the seven soul houses and the Dao Soul Song Channel. I encourage all those、uh, in the room here. To learn more about how you can join this on Facebook, I'm happy to assist you. So today we're focusing on how to build and boost power to the brain. Now, according to the teachings of、uh, Eastern medicine, the brain's health is associated with the kidneys. The kidneys actually create what is called jing. Jing is a as a word that means matter, and it is the jing that feeds and nourishes. The brain. For those of you that attended my live stream just a few days ago, we spoke about the sixth soul house and its power and significance for intelligence. Because a lot of people associate the sixth soul house with the spiritual third eye, but it has a great deal of association to intelligence of the brain. And we even did a soul reading at that time for the impact that it had on the brain. So for all those online that wish to watch any of the past videos. Go to my Facebook page,、uh, look underneath the main image for the word "about," and then scroll down, and you'll see videos, <coughs> and you should be able to scroll through some the、uh, past archives there. Today is on how to bring、uh, power to the brain. We're going to do this in two different ways. One is through a special mantra, which is uh, 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 chanting. That will create a vibrational frequency in our body, in our brain. That will help remove the blockages between the left and the right hemisphere and enhance the synaptic impasse between them. But prior to doing that, we're going to work with the kidneys first. Now, how many in here in the room know where their kidneys are? That's a, a good starting question. Okay, I see a lot of hands. That's good. The kidneys are on the back side, just above our waist, and they're literally about the, the size of the inside of your palm. Okay, we have one on the left, one on the right. So you'd place your hands right about here. Okay, that's where you'd place your palms. <clears throat> Now that's if you can reach back there. Some of us are so uh, uh, wide that we just can't do that, and that's perfectly okay. We can put our mind back there, mind power. We can put one hand on the front, one hand on the back, straddling both. So it's perfectly okay for that's what's called body power. So I'm going to ask all of you to sit up straight, please. Bring yourself forward, away from the back of your chair, wherever you're sitting at, so that there's enough room to place at least one palm and possibly both on your lower back. <clears throat> This is body power. Again, flexibility: one on the front over your lower abdomen, one at the back, like this. <coughs> Excuse me. That is perfectly okay. <coughs> Got to get some fluid.
Okay, thank you. Already cleaning out my kidneys. <laughs> All right. Sound power. Um, one of the things you're going to hear today in the room and in this conversation now is that sound can heal. And each area of the body has a vibrational sound that causes the energy and the matter to move towards relative balance. I'm not going to go too far into teachings, but just understand that if the energy and the matter that make up all life and that make up your body are out of balance, then what will happen is a lack of energy or too much of it. And that creates inflammation or a lack of movement in your body, stagnation. So when we use these four powers, in essence what it's doing is it's moving the energy and matter in such a way that energy naturally flows freely again and that the conversion between energy and matter happens in perfect homeostasis or in perfect balance. This then creates the highest probability of a return to health. And so when we work with sound power as one of the four powers, it assists in this process. Each one of our powers assists to accomplish this simple example. <clears throat> so sound power for the kidneys is you, Y-O-U, just like saying, hey you, we're gonna say you, ya, yo, dao, you, ya, yo, dao. Uh, actually, let me, let me change that up a little bit. We're gonna say, um, Yeah, we'll just go with that. Yo, 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 dao. Keeping our mind, mind visualization on the kidneys. And go ahead and I want you to focus on golden light. So body power, one hand in the front, one hand in the back, or both in the back if it's comfortable. Mind power, visualizing golden light in your kidneys. Sound power, yu, ya, yo, dao. Right on this area. <clears throat> and soul power is something new for all of you. Soul power, as I started out teaching in the beginning, was everyone and everything has a soul, and the soul, when you heal it first, then the mind and body will follow. Now, I will teach an entire class on that, but for today, just know that this is a new power that we're introducing to you, and this is how we do it. We call it Say Hello. We know that every energy and every matter has God in it, has spirit in it, so we're going to say hello to the soul of our kidneys. So repeat after me. Dear the soul of my kidneys, I love you. I truly appreciate your service to my body. I truly appreciate all that you do to help me to remain healthy, alive. I appreciate you maintaining and balancing my water nature of my body. I appreciate you feeding and nourishing my brain. You have the ability to boost your power, to heal and balance yourself, and to nourish my brain. Do a great job. Thank you. Yeah, brings a smile to your face, doesn't it? Whole lot better than saying, oh, my aching kidneys. Soul communication. You'll learn more about it. It's a beautiful thing. That's called saying hello. Now, another thing that Master Shah teaches us is we always want to ask assistance from all those in the heavenly realms. Although we've asked them to come at this time, we want to ask them again specifically to assist us. So let us do that. This is called soul communication with the outer souls. So repeat after me. This is if you are comfortable. Dear God, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Master Shah, dear all the angels in heaven, if you love Buddha, ask Buddha to come. You love Jesus, ask Jesus to come. Dear Jesus, dear Buddha, please come. I love you. Can you please bless my kidneys and my brain strength? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we've done all four powers. Close your eyes. You don't need to watch me. You know what I look like. Close your eyes. Visualize golden light in both kidneys. And we will chant Yu Ya Yo Dao right into the kidneys. Yu Ya Yo Dao, 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 Yu Ya Yo Dao. 
ゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだおゆやよだお Silently chant with a smile on your face. You ya yo down. 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 Just a little bit longer. You ya yo down. You ya yo down. You ya yo da. You ya yo da. You ya yo da. How how how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is an example of applying the four powers to a specific body. Heart. For those of you that weren't here, we did this last week for the heart center. And you can apply this next week when we come back, we'll be doing it on the kidneys and so forth.、Um, so we're going to be focusing on a different organ each week, so please come back and bring your friends. But know that we usually do chanting longer than this for any one particular area. Master Shah suggests three to five minutes minimum, three to five times a day. Now, if you have more time than you can give to it at any given moment, good. Give it 10 to 15 minutes. You will get far better results. The best results come when we spend at least 15 minutes each time. The reason I cut it a little bit short is because I want to spend more time on the next subject. Now, you can see in the board behind me here these words Ling, Yao, Chi, 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 Zhou, Ling, Ba. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Zhou R R Si. This is pronounced Si Si Si. Fortunately, you don't have to write them down here in the room because they're on your piece of paper that I put on your desk there. So, what are these words? As I mentioned earlier, Doctor and Master Sha and the spiritual father Master Guo worked with healing millions of people, and a lot of what they did was these four powers. Including what is known as sound power. Now, it is not well used、uh, or not overly known about or used in the Western、uh, model for bringing healing. It does not mean it's any less effective. Sound power has the ability to create vibration. Now, if you ever want to see something unique, go to YouTube and type in sound, uh, uh, I forget the exact words, but you can type in, for example,、um, Sound images on water or sound images on a drum.、Uh, and you will actually see videos where they're just vibrating sound and the sand that's sitting on top of a drum makes geodesic shapes. Same thing with water. And so they know unequivocally that sound can cause shift on the energy and matter level, which is why it's been used for thousands and thousands of years in Eastern philosophies and an Eastern approach to medicine. We will be applying sound power today 
for this, which is a mantra to bring balance to the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Now, I have no idea, actually, about the way the brain works. I am not a brain surgeon, a brain doctor, don't know much about it. So what I'm about to share with you will be the expanse of my knowledge. We have a left brain and a right brain. The right brain is more towards the creative side. The left brain is more towards the logical side. The left brain controls the right body. The right brain controls the left body. That's pretty much all I know. And I do know that when we have imbalances in the brain, it absolutely impacts our emotions. It impacts the way we think logically. It impacts our creativity. It impacts our mind. It impacts the way our mind works. Uh, can it process even math? Uh, Alzheimer's, ADD, autism, all of these have associations with the brain. And <clears throat> more recently I read something that spoke about uh, the children and the adults that their uh, left and right hemisphere there's a direct association um, this is not Dr. Master Shaw teaching but something you might want to research they're saying that the children the left and right hemispheres of the brain there is space between these hemispheres until about the age of 18 and they bring into their bodies through pesticides through chemicals in the water and a variety of other sources Met metals, metallic, mercury, things of that nature, and it sits in between the blood-brain barrier in the hemispheres, causing this misfiring. I read that recently. So do your own research. Another thing I read recently about Alzheimer's, this was today, literally today, uh, there was some research that found that there was inflammation in the brain of Alzheimer's patients pushing the left and right hemispheres together, therefore causing an imbalance in the synapses. So again, information about the brain that might be worthwhile checking into. What does Dr. Master Shaw's teachings teach us? Energy and matter. When they're out of relative balance, they can create insufficiency of energy or excess energy. What is excess energy? It almost always shows up in the form of inflammation. What is cancer? Excess energy coagulated in one area. What is uh, uh, fibromyalgia? lack of energy in those areas along with excess energy causing muscle spasms, etc. So it's a combination of imbalances of energy and matter. All of this wisdom and teachings serve to bring balance back to energy and matter, therefore causing a lack of inflammation if it is done consistently uh, and long enough using the right practices. That's what we hope to accomplish with these teachings here today. My Facebook is uh, catching up to me, so I apologize for the stuttering there. Give me a moment. The words behind me are a mantra. Ling, Yao, Chi, Chi, Chi. These are actually numbers. Zero, one, seven, seven, seven. Each number reflects a certain vibrational frequency. And some of Dr. Master Shah's teachings, we use these numbers for vibrating certain parts of the body. Jo Ling Ba is 908. I don't have enough room to write it down here. I'll write it below. 908. So when we're chanting this, we're actually chanting a vibrational frequency associated with a number. It's not just some weird thing. The last numbers over here, 92244. 9, 2, I have to write backwards. It's a little bit um, challenging. Good. For left and right brain intelligence. Try writing backwards. It'll, all this was written backwards, by the way. This whole thing is written backwards because I'm looking at the front of the camera and it only sees things in opposite view. So, good left right brain activity. So let's let's do this together. Ling, repeat after me. Ling, Yao, Chi, Chi, Chi. Again, Ling, Yao, Chi, Chi, Chi. Ling, Yao, Chi, Chi, Chi. 
What is this doing? This is massaging one of the hemispheres of the brain. I should have read a little bit better. I would tell you which hemisphere. At this point, I'm going to say the right hemisphere and the other one is the left. But honestly, it doesn't matter because we repeat both of them all at once. Just know that they're vibrating the left and the right side. Let's repeat this one. Jo Ling Ba. Again, Jo Ling Ba. Back to here. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi. Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi. Jo Ling Ba. Again, Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi. Jo Ling Ba. Faster. Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi. Jo Ling Ba. So this is half of the mantra. The other half, we repeat the Ling Yao Chi 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 and we chant Jo R R S S. Repeat. Jo R R S S. S I H. S. Uh, there's really no English word that's similar to it. S. Jo R R S S. Again. Jo R R S S. Again. Jo R R S S. Very good. So how do we do this mantra fully? One of, the, uh, one of my spiritual mentors, Master Marilyn, I believe she was sharing once about how she applied this in the classroom. If it wasn't her, it was another teacher. They did actually apply it in the classroom. And, she, and what, I was, what I remember is that it made a significant difference for the children. They applied it every day and the children became very excited about it. They actually were looking forward to doing it. It was that five or ten minutes. And this teacher, if it was Master Marilyn, I apologize, Master Marilyn, if I'm getting this wrong, but um, what I remember is that it was applied in the beginning of the class and it made a significant difference in the children's intelligence levels, in their emotional and activity levels, and acting up levels. So something definitely that you want to bring to all of your children as a game, have fun with it, okay? And as far as the, uh, the older adults, whatever you need to do to motivate them, but it'll absolutely help them in a very powerful way. Okay, so how do we do this all together? We chant this Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Jo Ling Ba, then we repeat Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, we go over to here, Jo R R S S. Now for those in the room, I put those in exact order. For here, I did not repeat the Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi. So I hope it makes sense to you online. I apologize if I'm not able to explain it in the best way uh, on the board. So one of the keys that makes this more effective is speeding up as much as you can. Uh, it doesn't have to be where you lose the verbiage, but when you're doing it a little bit faster, the synapses in the brain and the shooting of the electrical patterns across left and right hemisphere increases substantially. Therefore, the results can be quite a bit better. Before we start, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to do an internal measurement of your brain. Close your eyes. Everybody online too, close your eyes. Just bring your entire attention inside your head. I want you to notice any sensations that might be happening. It could feel light and airy. It could feel heavy. You could feel a little buzzing in one of the ears. You might feel a little heat in a certain part of your head. Vibration in a certain part of your head. You have to pay attention. I'm going to give you a full minute. Pay attention. Really focus in. Okay, now open your eyes. <clears throat> That's your baseline. Remember that baseline because at the end of this, you're going to check in again. I want you to notice any differences. Trust me, there's going to make a difference. The more you do it, the longer you do it, definitely get some results. But you want to have a baseline to test it by. So let us chant together. We're going to do it a little bit slow at first. 
Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Repeat. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Repeat. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Everybody got that? Now we're going to go Ling Yao Chi 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 and we're going to go over to here. Jo R R S S. Let's do it. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Okay, now we put them together. This is what it will sound like. So just listen first. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Join whenever you want to. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. I want you to try to close your eyes. Instead of looking at this and memorizing it, try to do it with your eyes closed, visualizing shooting light in your brain. I will chant for you, catch, a lot, catch up as we go, and become familiar with the mantra. Much better results with your eyes closed. Let us do this again. Close your eyes. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Faster. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Keep your eyes closed. Now what I want you to do is put one hand on top of your head, one hand on your lower abdomen. Keep your eyes closed, and we're going to continue. We've added body power now, visualizing the golden light. <coughs> Repeat with me. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Let's do it slowly now. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Faster Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Little faster Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Faster Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Faster Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Faster Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Faster Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo Ling Ba. Ling Yao Chi 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 Jo R R S S. Okay, how many of you were able to keep up? I see one hand in the room. The others, are <laughs> they lost it. It takes a little practice. I've been doing this a while, as you can tell. How fun was that? Okay, close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Check in with your brain. Bring your focus into your brain. What is your sensation now? 
Vibration, yes. Heat. The ringing in your ear stopped, brilliant. Those online, make sure you type in, what was your results with this practice? Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Zhou Ling Ba, Ling Yao Chi Chi Chi, Zhou R R Si Si. So this practice needs to be done consistently, every day. If I was you, I would do the kidney practice first. Then, the brain will receive a lot of nutrition, a lot of boosting of energy. And then, it will have, it, it's almost like filling up the battery cells so that when you run the machine, everything works better. So you take the time to boost your kidneys, take the time to put your hands on your lower abdomen, and you would chant, Yu Ya Yo Dao, visualizing the golden light coming into your kidneys. Always remember to connect to the soul, to the soul of my kidneys. I love you. You have the ability to heal yourself. Do a great job. That is called saying hello, soul communication. We didn't even say hello to the brain. I got so excited, but we should have. Somebody in the room, tell me how you say hello to the brain based on what you've heard so far. Dear the soul of my brain, do a good job. Excellent. You might want to tell your brain you love you. You love your brain. Do you love your brain? Then tell your brain you love your brain. <laughs> I know it's weird, but it's a very good thing to do. We want to tell our body parts that we love them. How many in the room have had sore back? How many online have had sore back? Everybody, everybody in the room. What do we say to our back when it's bothering us? Oh, my aching back, I hate my back, oh my back. My bad back, we say that about my, our knees, my bad knee, I have a bad knee. Would you say that to your children? You're a bad child. How many times if you said that to them, would they finally become a bad child? Same thing to your body. Send it love. That's how we do it. That's called soul power. And you just saw your first taste of it today. Okay, online, what was your experience? We, I'm reading, uh, uh, Carol says she felt waves. Please, everybody share, because the ones in the room also want to know what your experience was. So, Dr. and Master Shah is a significant human being that has come to the planet today. He has brought with him a self-healing method that can be learned in a very short period of time. You can go up to anybody and say, put one hand in your lower abdomen, one hand on whatever hurts. Pretty simple body power. You can tell them to visualize golden light. Very simple. You can tell them to chant love, 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 love. That's sound power. Every sound carries healing or hurting. Love carries healing. Love. I love my shoulder. I love my shoulder. I love my knee. I love my knee. That's three powers. The fourth power is the soul power. Dear the soul of whatever it is you're focusing on. I love you. You have the ability to heal yourself. Do a good job. I taught you four powers just right now in about less than a minute and a half. It's possible to teach this with all those that you care about in the same amount of time and then spend the rest of the time doing the practice. One hand over the lower abdomen, the other hand over whatever the suffering is ask for blessings from the soul world and chant love. Could have great and tremendous healing in a very short period of time. Soul healing can be very simple. So uh, Jeff says, that I Master Paul, my whole brain is tingling with energy. Wonderful, great sharing. And Amy Monago says, warmth and vibration. Thank you so much for sharing. I truly appreciate that. All those that watch this video later, will also read your guys' posts. Well, it's very beneficial for them. They might not know. Well, do I really stay for the whole hour and watch this video the whole time? If they realize the power of what's in here, then they would. So it's very, very valuable. So as I wrap up today, my invitation to all of you is to pay attention to this most significant being on the planet today. Dr. and Master Shah is world-renowned. At this point, over 20 books, he is, he, he speaks to some of the 
very, very high level people. But he has made sure to, to give all souls the opportunity to self-heal. He does that by bringing teachers like me to the world to serve you. Go to his website, www.drsha.com. You can find more information on my website, which is listed above this video. There are uh, a lot of free uh, uh, blessings for you waiting. tv.drsha.com. That's on the paper I left you on your, uh, on your desk here. I am here to serve you. I'm here to assist you in bringing these practices to your life. If you need individual blessings or individual guidance, again, you're welcome to contact me. I'm happy to serve you in that way. Tomorrow, what we're going to be focusing on is the Y Jiao. Now, some of you uh, online might not know what this is, and some of you in the room may have never heard of it. The Y Jiao is a space discovered by Master Shah's spiritual father. It's a, literally a space in the body. And in the Eastern medicine, everything has energy and matter, and where there are blockages, that's not good. Well, in the space between the neck, all the way to the shoulders, all the way down to the hips, in front of the spine is this huge energy space called the Y Jiao. And this huge space uh, often gets a lot of blockages in it where the energy and matter are not operating in relative balance. And so tomorrow I will be focusing on a special mantra, body power and positioning to bring the greatest value and healing to this area. <clears throat> the day after that I'll be offering wisdom and teachings on the energy channel which goes from the base of your uh, torso up to the top of your head and back down in front of the spine. And then after that, I'll be doing teachings on the matter channel, which is the rejuvenation channel, which goes in the reverse direction, but on a slightly different path. So you'll have to come to watch to learn what that pathway is differently. And then collectively, I've decided now I will add an 11th day and we're gonna put them all together and we're gonna chant for about 30 minutes, Hey Hung Hung Ar Shi Yi Wong Yo. Uh, uh, and then we're going to move the energy in the matter channels and we're going to clear out all of that stagnant energy. So I look forward to serving you. Please come back tomorrow, 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Australian, and early morning on our beloved India. Until then, we'll see you. Love you, love you, love you. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for coming.